Seeing into the future live. This is Rackspace's continuing coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Now here's Robert Skoll. Hey, I'm Robert Scobo, and you're here at our studio in TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. All uh, for the next three days, we're going to be doing several of these interviews where we meet innovators, uh, entrepreneurs, people who are cool, and uh, we're going to be talking to a few of them. Uh, I'm really happy to have Jeff Pulver here. He started Vonage, uh, oh god, a, a few years ago now, and he's been a real key player in the Israeli startup space and a nice guy and uh, starting a new company. So, who are you? I am Jeff Pulver. Uh, today I am chairman of, uh, of Zula. Yeah. yeah. And so, so, first of all, who are you? you know, tell me a little bit about where you came from, people who don't know you. My, my, I'm someone who represents the impossible can be, yeah. in the sense that my background, I studied in college accounting, and I ended up working on Wall Street uh, doing uh, financial and analytics and, and, and really in bond trading. And, uh, but I discovered what, as a kid, my hobby was radio. Yeah. I was a ham radio operator as a young kid. It helped get me through uh, being my teenage years. And what I discovered in 1995 was a small company in Israel called Vocal Tech that had the iPhone, which allowed me to talk on the internet. And that changed my entire path. And from that, I got involved with innovative communications and what I discovered was that voice is an application. Yeah. And that, that, that became what I ended up doing. And uh, where I am today is because of that. Yeah, and you were, when I first met you, you were running these voice, Von voice over uh, bond conferences, voice I, over I, IP or voice I, over the net. net. Yes, yeah, so in 1995, I coined the term bond to stand for voice on the net. And in 96, I started doing these conferences, mostly because I lost my job on Wall Street. I didn't know what else, what else to do. I didn't know anything about the conference business, but it just blossomed. And within a couple of years, Bond became the trade show, the conference that put voice over IP on the map, and it's since become a, like a trillion dollar marketplace. And while I was doing those conferences, I had an idea for a startup, which ultimately grew into what's now Vonage. And, uh, and today with, uh, with Zula, I'm actually picking up on where some ideas I had 18 years ago about the fact that voice over IP allows you to do the impossible. Most people in telecom don't like to take chances, they always replicate it, but I, I like to innovate. And, uh, and, I, and I, for the longest time, trying to push the limits of what was possible, but practically, broadband had to happen, devices had to get smarter and deeper, but the, and the way we communicate as people has changed. And now that we went mobile, one of the most frustrating things I've seen is that people try to use old methods using new technologies, and, that's, and I try to like change that. So in Zulo, we created a platform for people who work together to be able to communicate, uh, particularly from a mobile world. Let's see it, because that'll help put some context on uh, What's going on here? Sure, so it, it, what we have here are Zulas. These are my own personal Zulas. I have my kids. Uh, I, I have the work Zula I'll bring up. So what Zula is about, um, it's really about the conversation. Yep. Uh, what so who's this for? This is for anyone who works in a team, whether it's a small company, medium company, even a large company. What you, what you have the ability to do is to bring people from your team together uh, in, a, in a world which has gone, bring your own device, uh, where you maybe have people in a 5,000 person company working together, people bringing their personal mobile phones to work. But trust me, a person doesn't want 5,000 strangers to have their phone number. Yeah. So what you're able to do as a team as a team leader is bring your team together for that conversation, convene the Zula. Once they're together in the Zula, you can then invite people to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. They can direct message, they can call each other, and then you can, they can contribute to any conversation stream. So here, these are the people that actually work at Zula. Yeah. And, um, and any of these people can, can ping. Now, what you're seeing here is me, these are very, we're actually having a conversation about our work, and whether it's Hillel, whether it's um, Aria, whether it's Joe. So this is almost like a Yammer or a this, Salesforce chatter, right? It is, and it, but built- But it's built around mobile. About, built around mobile first. And what, what when you, you take a mobile-centric approach to communication like this, what do you get uh, it's out of your team? What you get is, instant access, we're no longer 24 by, we're no longer tw uh, nine by five people. There's no concept of out of office. The yeah. office is in my pocket, wherever I go. So that I have the ability to communicate on the fly, if I'm flying with Wi-Fi, if I'm walking, if I'm traveling. Uh, the, the out of office message is history. The ability to connect, to communicate, to engage is always there. And what, so what we have is a conversation stream where people are posting. Now, what, we, we, what I find particularly frustrating is if you're in an email loop with a constant, uh, constantly CCing people, yeah. attaching files, using Dropbox or Google Drive, it's very hard to stay organized. 
what we created is a platform so each conversation is organized. So here, this is the weekly Zulu review, this is actually our own. Um, with one click, everyone who's around the table can, can go into a conference call. Yeah. They're, they're invited to a call. In fact, if I do that right now, you're actually getting no notified all over the world to come into a call. I'm going to stop it. Okay. Um, they actually, their phone just popped up. All right. Um, we have our, we, we can schedule events for the team, shared files. We integrated Google Drive and Dropbox into this, but and uh, as well as your own local files. Yeah. Another thing that's very nice about Zula is the ability to um, is the ability when you're actually inside of it, when you when you want to let's say post inside of Zula, you can compose a message. When you're composing, you can take a local photo, share it, files from the device, get someone's attention, shout, and take a poll. The yeah. polling is nice when you're with your team. In our particular case, um, for our team, we wanted to make sure that everybody is voting for Zula. Um, uh, for here at TechCrunch, and you could check, and with one click, you could see how people voted. Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. So what we're really doing is trying to change the metaphor of communications when it comes to teams, and allowing people to flow with it. So no more do you, do you have to worry about email with with constantly CCing people, being able to share files on the go and keep them organized, converse with people, be yeah. able to have one-to-one -one conversation. Let's say you have a team of seven people, bring them together. I don't have to be that person's friend. But for the context of the conversation, I can direct message them and call them. Yeah. No phone numbers ever have to be exchanged. So there's there's a privacy. We we uh, and if that person leaves Azula, there are no digital breadcrumbs. We're After, using the Twilio API on that. We're right? using the Twilio API. What we've we've done is as 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 the builders of the app, we're like systems integrators. We take the best degree that what's available at the moment, we put it together, we create when we have to, we otherwise integrate. And so as Zula grows, we're bringing other APIs and other functionality into the platform. Today we're available iPhone, Android, we'll have HTML5 soon. Yeah. And, and as we get feedback from groups that want other functionality, we're there to add it. Um, and and you know, I, I believe that we're part of a paradigm shift in how people will communicate from mobile. We no longer yeah. have to take web, ex take web apps, extend them to mobile. Are you thinking of bringing this type? Because I go to work with an iPhone, or uh, now an Android phone and an iP uh, iPad. Are you, are you thinking of doing something separate for the iPad? We will do something separate for the iPad. The iPhone version works on iPad, but because of the better interface, the larger screen on the iPad, we're going to have our own version that's optimized for the user experience on the iPad. Yeah. Because um, you can do so much more with bigger with bigger screen space. Yeah, it makes sense. I, in meetings now, I'm showing up with an iPad, and you know, because it's, it's just and, easy And what's to nice do. is that when you go to those meetings, you have all your files, everything you need available to you using Zula. Okay. So, so that's pretty cool. How, how much do you, are you charging for this? Or uh, how, are you, how are you guys going to monetize? I'm, we're sort of taking, I, I've been advocating for the OC Body approach. Yeah. That, you know. Get like, users first, then figure users it out. Get users first, and figure it out. In, in reality, uh, a lot of people in business these days have, have come, come accustomed to paying a per, a per seat per month yeah. fee. Um, yeah, Yammer taught us that, right? It, it spreads virally. Right, and then, and then if you want certain features, like, you have to pay the 25 like, bucks. Like in our case, we have 18 people inside of Azula because we figure more than 18 people is a crowd. Uh, if a particular company needs to have more than 18, we'll charge for that. When we have the, when we host a voice conversation, we're going to charge perhaps to record it to post it back into the stream. There are lots of places where we go premium, premium type of, uh, of approach. I really want to get users, and uh, we've preceded Zula with a bunch of people from medium to large companies and some small companies. And we've gotten really good feedback so far. I, I what I really look forward to is the, the law of unintended consequences applying to us and seeing how people adapt to what we're doing and how they flow with it. So as far as charging, we will in the future for, for other features, but what we're showing today, I believe, will be and will continue to be great. Cool. How are you guys uh, funded? Uh, so far, we've raised um, approximately a million dollars. Very cool. Uh, it started out, Jacob and my co-founder, we, 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 we did pre-seed funding. Yeah. Um, and we just, we just wrapped up our seed round. We're going to be doing our Series A soon. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's, I've, learned, I've, been, I've been humbled. The, the yeah. fundraising process, no matter how, how hard you try, is a process. No, no matter who your friends are, uh, it's you got to have the well. app, and, and it's hard to convince uh, investors to invest in uh, new ideas like this. But right I'll now. tell you, I've never felt stronger, better, and more proud than, than what we're doing today. And uh, I feel very positive that some really good things will happen, uh, at least in the area that we're operating in. And I'm what? excited. So uh, to take it into uh, Tel Aviv, what, what's happening on the street in Tel Aviv that's different than San Francisco or New York? Or? I think the biggest difference is that people are living, truly living the startup lifestyle. I mean, without exaggeration, if you go into a taxi cab uh, and ask the person what they're, why they're driving a taxi, three out of four, perhaps even five out of 10 will tell you they're in a startup and they're bootstrapping. 
Yeah. You go into a cafe in New York City or LA and you find people who are out of work because they're typically are people who want to be in the entertainment business and looking for a break on Broadway or in the movies. People working in cafes in Tel Aviv work for startups. Yeah. It's, it's a total different mindset. I, I've never been a around a group of people so focused, so dedicated, and where anything really is possible and, it, and it's just a way of life. Uh, yeah. This great five, New York City is up and coming for startups. It's been up and coming now for 25 years, and it's certainly a hub. San Francisco is where life starts for many people. Yeah. Uh, Tel Aviv is uh, different, although you know there are a lot of Israelis that have migrated to San Francisco. Uh, yeah. But it's a very, it's a nice, can do anything is possible vibe. And uh, out, you know, outside of politics, it's uh, a pretty fun place to be. Yep. Well, cool, man. Hey. I always ta love talking with you. I love talking with um, you. Thank you for your time. So Zula, it's Zula app. Yeah. Um, uh, ZulaApp.com is where we're at. And, um, I, and you can get Android and iPhone right now. That's right. Uh, web coming soon. Thanks so much for coming out and uh, being uh, first on our show at TechCrunch Disrupt. Looks, looks Hang out here you. for a second. So uh, we're going to be doing several of these interviews every, I don't know, half, half an hour to every hour. And uh, mostly on Google Glass. Jeff is one that... I snuck in from off the show floor here, so I'm watching who, who's coming by the front door. And if you have something cool here at TechCrunch Disrupt, come and see us uh, sometime in the next three, three days. Uh, so we'll be back in a few minutes with another one. Thanks for joining us from TechCrunch Disrupt 2013. Seeing into the future live. Rackspace's continuous coverage from TechCrunch Disrupt 2013 shall continue in a moment. Build your cloud to fit your application. Find out more at rackspace.com.